M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're having some success here with our U5 Link USB connector for FTA and other digital modes. And look here, we've got some contacts coming in. I'm going to show you my settings. So we'll go configuration, we'll go file, settings. And on the radio settings, we've selected actually 817. Was there an 818? Oh, there actually was. We'll select that for now. Um, COM11, we just go on right click, device manager, double click, and then you've got your COM11 there. The board rate is 38400, and to find that, you want to hold down the menu, the F button, and go to menu number 14, turn the left channel knob to 14, and you want to select cat rate 38400. The mode button on the top on the left, up and down until it says Digi on the radio. Power wise, we've got it on full power, we've got an external power supply, and when it TXs, it's saying about five and a half watts. We've ticked eight here and two and cat, and straight away we can cat test and we can PTT test. That's all that's all working great that we can do that. So there you are. It's a PTT, you'll see it go into PTT. But anyway. Let's just check. I've should, then we'll go to audio, file, settings, audio. We selected two USB PNP sound device. Now, the way that the U5 link works is you have the speaker and the mic cable coming out of the front and the USB. And then I've plugged the other end of the speaker and the mic into a USB adapter, which goes into your PC. And they are colored green to green, yellow to yellow. It's that simple. The front USB just goes into your PC, it also powers the U5 link. And at the back, you've got a CAT and a data connection. Very straightforward. On the back of the Yesu 817, 818A, 89, all the different Yesu radios, the older ones, you just connect the CAT to the CAT and the data to the data. And be careful with the pins, be very careful. And if the plug doesn't quite fit in the hole, just cut the edges off because it's a bit cornered. And I did that. And away you go. And I've also got Grid Tracker running as well. Let's find that. Ah, oh, here it comes. Running too many things at the same time here. Yeah. Remind me later, that was Win Express. Yeah, we did have a go at Win Express actually. Uh, sending emails over HF, but that's not what this is about. Let me just find Grid Tracker. I'm just could've sworn I had that open. Grid. There it is. TXing. What we do, we just double click someone. The power I've set here to, you can see that for the ALC, but I just did it by as default and it seems to be getting contact, so I'm not going to mess with that. And you can select your ASL ALC meter, just hold down the F, briefly press, and then turn. You've got your power here, and then meters look. In the middle, you t you change the F with the with the left channel knob so meters, and then you just keep pressing it. SWR. There's one here for mod. Tell me what mod means. I know what power means. An ALC. I don't know what mod means, but um, anyway, back to ALC. So you get the ALC reading there. Let's have a look. So I think that's about it for this video. I'm going to show you a sort of close up of all the cables that I connected, but working fine, like even the settings, right click, sound settings, and right click, open volume mixer, I haven't really had to play with that, I just did it as it default, and it worked, maybe you have to, uh, so thanks for watching my channel, 7.3, all the best.